In this lesson, we will learn how to optimize animation data in Maya. So we've learned how to bake animation in the previous lesson, which is great because we can convert something like an expression to keyframe data that can later be edited. Now here's what's not so great. We have a lot of keyframes to clear out. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that in a very efficient way. If we were to go to the graph editor, underneath the curves menu, you'll find a tool called Simplify Curve. There it is. So with this tool, we can go ahead and clear out a lot of these keyframes that really don't do anything for us. Now before we do that, let's go ahead and go to the View menu and turn on Show Buffer Curves. That way we can see a printout of our high res curve and we can then use that to make sure the low res curve or the optimized curve matches this same form so we don't lose any animation. So once we've done that, we can then go ahead and select the channel that we'd like to optimize and we can go to Curves and then move down to Simplify Curve. Let's go ahead and move to the Option box. I'll go ahead and reset the settings. So by default, you can see that this is set to all in our time range. What that means is that everything on this channel is going to be cleared out, which is probably what you want. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, focus on just a specific point in the animation, you might go ahead and change your time range to, let's say, start and end or time slider. But again, if you wanted to clear out all animation past this range, if we had any keys past that range, you'd probably want to work with all, and I think we do because we did scale the timing at the end. All right, sweet. And then the second part of this allows you to choose how many keyframes will be removed. So we have two different methods we can use. The default is dense data, and this is used for heavy data sets like motion capture. Classic is used for lighter data sets. We can consider our animation a lighter data set. Even though we have several keys, look at how simplified our function curve is if you were to look at its shape. So because of that, we can actually work with Classic and still get a great result. Now here's the goal. What we want is to keep all of the high points on our hills and all of the low points on our valleys. That should preserve the function curve really well. So what we'll then need to do is decide on the values we'll need for the time and value tolerance fields. As we start to increase these values, it will start to remove more keyframes, so we have to be really careful. If we were to use the default settings and click Apply, it's going to remove quite a few keys, but I think we can do a better job. Let's go ahead and press the Z key to undo back. I might go ahead and increase both to about 0.5. Now when we click Apply, take a look at that. Look at how many keys we're able to clear out. Fantastic. Also notice this. If we were to play back the animation, you could see it will play back the same way. Fantastic. So we're able to preserve the animation while clearing out a lot of our keyframes. Fantastic. So in this lesson, we've learned how to optimize animation data very efficiently in Maya using the Simplify Curve tool.